Hey guys, let me talk to you real quick about cauliflower ear. So as you can see, I just had mine done, had mine taken care of. I got mine from from Muay Thai. So I got took a punch in the ear and swelled up. Wrestlers will also get it from like excessive rubbing on the mat. But I got mine from Muay Thai. Day after, I noticed it was really painful. I could hardly sleep on it, and noticed that, uh, as an example, this portion of my ear was four times the size of the good one. So, obvious issue. Did a bunch of research online, which I'll address here in a second. But I ended up going to my primary care doctor, who referred me to an ear, nose, and throat specialist to have them drain it. Ear, nose, and throat specialist said, "Yep, exactly. You need it drained." Took me to the operating room. Even in my ear to the the part that was swollen, opened it up with a scalpel, and um, squeezed all the fluid out with you know with gauze. He then used this kind of like compression apparatus. It's a cotton roll on the inside and a cotton roll on the outside. You can see that, and he stitched the two together. So there's the stitching is going through my ear back and forth between these cotton rolls to compress the wound so that fluid doesn't reabsorb into that cavity. So uh, really quick what cauliflower ear is, you have your cartilage of your ear and the um, on the cartilage rests the, this membrane. When you either get, if it's a hit or excessive rubbing, that membrane separates from the cartilage and that cavity fills with fluid. The cartilage oozes or weeps, excretes fluid that fills the cavity. That's what they're draining. Few things. So I was doing some research online. A bunch of people saying, "Just do it yourself. Put a needle in your ear. Or get something sharp and kind of like you know, drain it yourself." I had this done in a sterile environment with a guy using professional using sterile utensils, and I'm still on hardcore antibiotics to make sure I don't get an infection. Do not risk that by doing it yourself. Second reason is, if you're using a needle, the ear, nose, and throat doctor informed me. When you are taking up the fluid, you're either putting the needle in, squeezing the ear and letting the fluid come out, or sucking it out with a syringe, you create a vacuum or a low pressure in your ear. That vacuum or low pressure causes fluid in the surrounding areas to flow back into the cavity to create an equilibrium. So you're just going to have the, re the problem recurring over and over. Another thing that I read online was the issue of hardening. So there's some people saying, yeah, you have 24, 48 hours, and it's going to harden. Get to the emergency room ASAP. No, it's about 10 days. My doctor informed me it's about 10 days. After 10 days, the liquid in your ear starts to solidify. Before 10 days, no problem. This was done seven days after the incident occurred. Um, if you let it go long term, no doubt, hands down, 100%, it's going to harden, and you're, you will be permanently deformed. There are guys who haven't wrestled or fought in like five, 10 years, and their ears are still deformed from um, you know, their past. So get it handled. They put this in, this is gonna stay in for you know, like four, I guess four days, and they're gonna take it out again, and then it's good. I mean, obviously it looks pretty hideous, but, um, bubbly ears are worse. Uh, last thing is when I, uh, after the operation, they gave me antibiotics and also mentioned something about painkillers. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It, it doesn't hurt now. It feels fine. I'll take some ibuprofen. Get the painkillers because I didn't sleep the entire night after the operation and called him in right in the morning and said, hey, dude, you got to give me something for the, for the pain. And uh, he gave me a prescription for some painkillers and I'm on now and it's way better. So I recommend doing that if that's an option. Uh, that's about all I have for you. If you guys want to leave a comment or a question below, I'll be happy to answer it for you. Let me know how it goes. If you want some more information, leave a question, I'll answer it. And uh, best of luck.